Hello everyone. Today in our Photoshop Power Tips, I'll show you how to change your Photoshop language without pre-installing. So without further ado, let's get started. So here as you can see, I have my Photoshop in Italian. And it might happen that you're using some plugins or some external application which you need to import into Photoshop and it will only work when Photoshop is in English. So you might face issues with running that plugin and you need to reinstall Photoshop again in English to make that plugin work. But there's a cool trick by which you can change your Photoshop from any other language than English to English and again back in very simple steps. So I'm going to show you in just a moment. So let me close my Photoshop and I'll navigate to my file explorer and try to find the installation location of my Photoshop. And although I'm showing this tutorial in Windows but be assured that these very same steps will work for you in Mac. So my Photoshop is installed here in C Drive, Program Files, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. And when you're here in this folder, be it Windows or Mac, you need to locate this folder, Locales. And once you go inside that, you will find the folder that corresponds to the original language in which your Photoshop is installed. So go inside that, go inside support files and you'll find a .dat file. So it can be anything, It's my Photoshop is in Italian, so it's showing IT, it can be any other language. So what you need to do is, you need to simply rename this extension of this file. So I'll just add underscore BAK for backup and you might need to give additional admin privileges but once you are done you can simply close this and try to reopen your Photoshop and voila you can see that it's in English so it's this simple to change your Photoshop on the fly from any other language to English and now if you again want this to go back to your original language in which it was previously installed you can simply go again here in this folder and change it to what it was before. Just re I'm just removing this underscore BAK. I'll hit save. And just as I open Photoshop, you can see that it's again in Italian. So it's all that simple. So I hope this solves a few issues that you're facing and it helps you. So if you find this video helpful, be sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video, till then stay creative.